New Bedford is a game of historic whaling and town building for two to four players. Gameplay lasts between 30 and 60 minutes and is rated for people age 13 and up. At the beginning of the game, whale and empty sea tokens are added to the whaling bag. The town board, whaling board, goods, and money are placed in the middle of the play area. All of the building tiles are arranged in an area near to the town board. Players choose colors and place their corresponding workers and ships on their player boards. Each player begins with a small amount of money and resources. The anchor token is placed on round one of the whaling board, and the ship's wheel token is set in front of the first player. In clockwise order, players place workers, one at a time, on action spaces located on the town board and whaling board until all players have placed both workers. Actions resolve immediately, often giving a bonus to the first worker to occupy a given space each round. In the town square, players gain food from the farm, wood from the forest, and brick from the warehouse. Additionally, players may sell goods in exchange for money, or construct additional buildings at the town hall provided they have the appropriate resources marked at the bottom of each building card. Newly constructed buildings give points to the player who constructed them, as well as creating a new action option on the town board. These new actions can be selected by any player in subsequent rounds, provided that they pay $1 to the building's owner. In this way, players accumulate money and resources, construct additional buildings, and prepare their ships for whaling expeditions. Preparing a ship requires wood, and launching a ship requires food equal to the number of spaces your ship will travel. The longer the expedition, the more food is required. In addition to placing workers, each player has the option, at any point once per round, to purchase two food or two wood for three dollars. Once all worker actions have been taken, the movement phase begins. Any ships out at sea move one space toward shore, and any ships returning must deal with any whales aboard. If a player can pay the lay, or cost associated with paying their crew for a whale, they keep that whale and its associated victory points. However, if a player is unable to pay the lay, they must put the whale up for sale. They receive half of the lay value but other players have the opportunity to purchase the whale. In this way, some players can acquire whales without having to expend the resources to mount their own expeditions, but at the cost of being dependent on other players to generate a whale surplus. After all ships have returned, whaling commences. Players with ships at sea will draw tiles from the whaling bag, one per ship. If multiple ships are at the same distance from shore, the player in first position selects from the drawn tiles first. Players may draw right whales, bowhead whales, or sperm whales in addition to empty sea. Empty sea returns to the bag at the beginning of each whaling phase. As whales are taken from the bag, it becomes increasingly likely that a player will draw empty sea, which reflects the historic decline in whale populations. After the whaling phase, the anchor moves forward the ship's wheel is passed, and the next round begins. Players continue to accumulate resources and wealth, construct buildings, and hunt whales until 12 rounds are completed. At this point, the game ends, the boats return, and everyone must either buy or sell off the remaining whales. Players receive points for whales they have stored throughout the game, as well as buildings they have constructed. The player who tallies the highest number of points wins the game. We hope you enjoyed this overview of New Bedford, a game of historic whaling and town building. Please consider backing us on Kickstarter.